Less than seven months after the BP oil rig explosion that caused one of the greatest environmental disasters in the nation's history, President Barack Obama has on Tuesday said that the oil and gas companies could resume drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. We are open for business, said Interior Secretary Ken Salazar. The decision brought a sharp rebuke from Florida government Charlie Crist, who said that the state's environment and tourism industry could not sustain another oil disaster. As long as the Gulf Coast residents and businesses are struggling with the claims process and being made whole, the drilling moratorium should not be lifted, said Christ in a statement. Without a thorough investigation of what exactly caused the deep water horizon oil spill, any drilling in the Gulf of Mexico is a job killer for Florida and not a job creator, he said. Oil and gas company Denbury Resources Incorporated said on Tuesday it agreed to sell assets in East Texas and in Hainesville, Louisiana for $217.5 million. US dollars. Denbury said that the buyer is a privately held oil and gas company. The sale will close in 30 to 45 days from now. The company will terminate some of its 2010 and 2011 natural gas hedges as a result of the sale and is expected to get 10 million to 15 million US dollars from the terminations. When it comes to prices at the pump, the trick is on this month. With signs nationally and the company is improving, oil investors are treating themselves to higher profits. The moves have caused the average price of regular gas in Stockton to rise from $3.06 per gallon to up to $0.08 cents in the past 30 days. In Tracy, the average has risen $0.11 cents in the past month to $3.05 per gallon, according to tracking figures provided by AAA Northern California. The price of the pump is largely being driven by oil investors. They are looking for signs that the economy is improving. An improving economy typically needs to a rise in demand for oil and gas, AAA spokesman Matt Curia said. That's all for now. We'll be back soon with some more news making waves in the oil and gas sector. See you real soon.